at Abolitionist Futures, the 18th International Conference on Penal Abolition. Happening across the world every year, London is playing host this weekend. Abolitionist groups and individuals from six continents are here to cover everything from immigration detention to state repression, from domestic violence to prisoner resistance. The organisers of this conference say they want to build a world in which detention, policing and punishment are replaced with better systems of accountability and transformative justice. But is this really possible and what could it even look like? Abolition means a completely new way of doing stuff. I'm here at Abolitionist Futures to learn from other people and also uh, to help me strengthen and understand a little bit more by uh, what it means to uh, kind of claim a abolitionist future. Abolition to me means to challenge um, and to dismantle and to abolish, to get rid of um, the relations and the institutions we are embedded in, which are structured by violence. And abolitionism to me means to challenge this order, um, to dismantle this order and to replace this order. For me, the prison system acts as like a symbol for basically everything that we're doing wrong in society. It's a symbol of like every other social issue. So from housing to mental health to domestic violence to racism to capitalism to all of these different things. Abolition is not only about getting rid of something but to build something new, to build alternatives, build on care and love instead of violence and punishment. It's also about finding hopes of people who work alike, think alike. Um, and that's the reason I'm here. How do we go about it? Uh, that loads of people have got loads of different ideas and are doing loads of stuff. So stopping the expansion in terms of building new prisons, but then also there's the things that we can start to do in our daily lives to become transformative. So you can see the police hassling someone of colour doing stop and search and you can go and inform someone of their rights, you can go and intervene and let people know what they're entitled to and what their rights are and those are really actually transformative things that we can start to do to resist the criminal justice system as it is. I think this is the biggest issue that we face is having, having a programme that makes sense to people to the extent that they can see that prison actually isn't just something that's always been there and is a logical um, way of, of treating people. Some people think, oh, how we will do without prison? And come on, you're doing that every day, every day. If your children are, you know, doing something wrong in your house, you do not call the cops. You know how to deal with problems without relying on the penal system. So we need to trust our knowledge. We have lots of experience in that and we need to rely on that. I do think what could make the movement now stronger, as I perceive that being based in Europe, is to um, tie um, or to, to, to build more transnational ties. Um, because the systems of oppression and the systems of securitization and of punishment, they don't stop at the border, right? They, they, go, they are transnationally organized. So, so I think, and that's why I hope also here, that we will um, learn also to build beyond the borders in our heads yeah, and leave no one behind, build intersectional. I think what's important is to see the vibrance of the younger generation, who are our future, who we need to pass the baton onto because I may not see justice in my lifetime but we must never give up hope. With the prospect of a Labour government on the horizon, the left is thinking big right now. We're thinking nationalisation, universal basic income and full automation. Why then do so many on the left continue to treat the criminal justice system as some kind of timeless inevitability and uncritically support the police and the prison system? With over 90,000 people currently held in the UK's detention and prison system, it's time for the left to reckon with the damage wreaked by the criminal justice system in people's lives and in society as a whole. An abolitionist movement is growing based on finding new ways of preventing harm and instilling accountability without making people disposable. If the left really wants to transform society, we need to start taking abolition seriously.